Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about effort of a governor. So effort is defined as the mean force which is exerted at the sleeve of the governor whenever there is change in the speed of spindle or whenever there is requirement to lift the sleeve. Now see what happens when the governor is moving at certain constant speed and it is in equilibrium there is no requirement of force to be exerted on sleeve. So the force which is being exerted on a sleeve in an equilibrium condition is zero. But when there is certain change in the speed let's say the speed of the spindle it increases by certain percentage or by certain amount what happens some force has to be exerted on sleeve to lift it up or to move it to a new position. After moving to new position again what happens the governor comes to certain equilibrium speed and the force exerted becomes zero. So in the process of taking the sleeve from some equilibrium position to a new position some force is being applied. So initially application of force was zero and certain after that certain force let's say E is being applied on the system to take it to a new position. So the average force becomes zero plus E by Two, right so it becomes 0 plus e by 2 so the effort is defined as e by 2 because this is the mean force which is being applied or exerted for a given change in speed of the spindle so we'll derive the equation for the effort in case of a porter governor right we already know the formula for the height of porter governor that is 2 mass of the ball into g plus weight of the sleeve which is mg 1 plus k, k is the ratio 10 beta upon 10 theta, this angle is beta upon 2 m omega square. So initially what happens, speed is omega. Now speed changes to a new value which is c times of the original speed or the equilibrium speed that is omega. And the force on sleeve, it changes. Initially the force which was being applied was mg. Now the force which is being applied, so now the force applied is mg plus e. e is the force which is being applied whenever we are trying to change the position of the sleeve. So this is the new formula which is 2mg plus mg plus e into 1 plus k upon 2m. Now omega changes by a certain percentage which is c percentage. So it becomes 1 plus c whole square and omega square. So question says that omega changes to 6% of the original speed, original angular speed. So it becomes 1 plus 0 0.06 and that is what C denotes C is the 6 percentage change in the original value. So let's name these equations A and B and if we divide these two equations this is what we get right and what we are doing now is we are keeping both the numerators at this side and we are checking both the denominators on the other hand and H being a common factor it gets cancelled out or maybe you can say H is equal to H the height of governor so we can equate the equations. So this is what we get 2mg plus mg plus e 1 plus k upon 2mg plus capital MG 1 plus k and on this side we get this 2m 1 plus c square omega square and upon 2m omega square. Now if you subtract both LHS and RHS by 1 it will not change the equation so we have done that. Now we take the LCM right so after taking the LCM we see that on left hand side two factors these two factors they get cancelled out right on RHS we see that uh, one gets cancelled out and because C is a very small factor so C square will be again a smaller one so we can ignore this factor right and on LHS if you open this bracket so it becomes MG plus E plus uh, this E like mg plus mgk so mg or 1 plus k these two terms this term gets cancelled out mg 1 into k and mg 1 into k so we are left with e 1 plus k upon 2 mg plus mg 1 plus k is equal to 2 c on rhs right so what we know we know effort is e by 2 that is the mean force so e by 2 you take on one hand and we keep all the other remaining factors on the other side so the equation becomes e by 2 is equal to c the factor with which the speed changes into g upon 1 plus k twice of mass of ball plus mass of the sleeve into 1 plus k now in case 
the value of k is same that means theta and beta they both are same so this k factor it gets removed and the equation becomes m plus m into cg and in case friction is not zero because the whole derivation that we have done we have considered that there is no friction acting on the body so if there is no friction if there is friction acting on the body we also take that friction into account what governors because the mass acting on the sleeve is zero so the equation changes to e by 2 is equal to cmg now if you look at the hartnell governor here i have made a small simple diagram of a hartnell governor we have where we have ignored the obliquity of the system we are considering that the upper arm is is in the perfect vertical position so if you take the moments about this point let's say this point is a it becomes mr omega square which is the centrifugal force acting outwards into a perpendicular distance is equal to half of mg that is the mass of sleeve plus fs which is the spring force into perpendicular distance b now there is the weight of the ball which is acting at this point because there is no perpendicular distance there is no obliquity so we have not taken this factor into consideration so from this original position if we try to change the speed omega to some factor c omega right so what happens while changing the speed here some force is being applied at this point to bring about the change in the speed because while you are lifting this system while you are lifting the sleeve some force is being exerted so now the new equation becomes mr 1 plus c whole square omega square a to bring about this change in speed what we are doing an extra force or the effort is being applied which is capital e so the equation becomes half of mg plus fs plus e into perpendicular distance that is b now if we divide both the equations few factors they just get cancelled out so mr cancels out omega square a cancels out and half cancels out and this b cancels out so the equation becomes this which is 1 plus c square is equal to mg plus fs plus e upon mg plus fs and the effort is what the mean force that is e by 2 initially when the system is in equilibrium force applied is zero so the average force which is the effort is e by 2 so the formula becomes c into mg plus fs and we have while doing the whole square of 1 plus c square we have ignored the factor c square because c is a very small term so c square will again be a smaller term thank you